Okay guys, welcome to another Meme Meister 10 minute mashup. Um, do not adjust your TV sets, this is indeed impossible mission. And you're probably saying, well what's the big deal about that? You know, it's on the Spectrum Commodore 64. Well actually this is not on the Spectrum or Commodore 64 or even indeed the Amstrad. This is running on the humble Auric. Yep, that little white keyboard that nobody actually bought. Um, and most of the games are absolutely shite. Now, this game was released, when was it released? Uh, 2010. I was just I was scrolling down some games and I saw this and I couldn't really believe my eyes when I saw this. So, I've not played it at all. Um, I do know it's uh, keys only. I think the emulator doesn't actually uh, support joysticks. So, without any further delay, let's have a wee crack and see what all the fuss is about. So, I'm guessing it's going to be... <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> right. Ah, very good. Right, so it's left and right, up and down, and space does the jumping. Now, I'm not a big fan of this game, I must admit. I'm just, I find it too difficult. But uh, yeah, this just goes to show just how uh, how far some of the sort of programmers have actually managed to take old computers. I mean, this kind of game just was absolutely unheard of back in the day. No, I don't want to log in the computer. Ah, bollocks. Right, okay, so I can go back out now, I think. Gotta say, the animation, even the sound, that sound is taken straight from the, the C64 one, almost. I mean, the animation's superb. You know, let's, let's remember what we're running this on. We're talking about an Auric one. So it just goes to show if these guys, if the programmers back in whenever it was in the day had access to the sort of the, the knowledge that they've got now, it just shows you what a <laughs> sorry. What an incredible uh, you know, games you could have been playing. I mean, this is really, really impressive. Oh, no, 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 no. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of this game itself, but uh, I'm... This is going to be an absolute sword. Whoops. Alright, you know what? I think you really have to use the computers to try and disable. Oh come on, disable the robots because uh, that little guy there is just moving far too quickly. Like so. And I didn't mean to do that. Oh, what am I doing? Come on, let's get out of here. Like so. But the animation is excellent. It's kind of like a cross between a spectrum and a C64. I mean, look at the graphics, they're quite detailed. Oops. What does that say? Destroy him. Alright, okay. Obviously, there's nothing, eh. Uh, there's no speech. But you know what? I think this is bloody impressive. Right, interestingly, there doesn't appear to be any robots in this particular uh, level. So, let's get back out. Now, these terminals, you can actually, I think you can disable robots and what have you, reset lifts, but I was never, I was never a big fan of this game. But 
but the animation good, is good. seriously impressive. Ah, bollocks. It's a tough, tough game. Wait, let's see if I can... Oops. Does it reset the lifts? Ah, bollocks. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough game indeed, it really is. Right, okay, let's give up and go back on another level. That shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to get right up here and then jump. Jump over the little guy like so. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how. Ah, oh, come on! I was nowhere near him. But yeah, this was a uh, this was converted by a chap called Jonathan Bristol, and it was well, it's interesting. It says copyright defence force, which I would debate slightly. On you fool. Getting a large spectrum at the top. <laughs> it's brutally hard, it really is. Brutally hard, but nevertheless very, very impressive. Ah, now this is the bit you've got to do. It's like a kind of Simon Says, I think, is it? Sequence. My arse. So have I got to do it in reverse, possibly? Oh, there you go. I've got no idea why that's uh, not working. Come here, the keyboard's kind of moving away from me. Right, let's get back out and have a look. Yeah, it just goes to show that there's still a uh, sort of thriving communities of uh, people making games for defunct systems, and it just shows you what you could have actually done. What? Is that the bottom? Well, it certainly is. Right, this looks busy. Let's have a look at the juice machine. What? 
Ah, I need to do it back to start again. I just know I don't appear to be dying as such. I mean, I'm dying, but is it infinite life? It looks awful like it is. And anyway, listen, guys, that's enough. That's 10 minutes. That is an impossible mission, and that is on the Auric. As usual, guys, I do hope you enjoyed watching it.